Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Princess Renny here and I hope you're doing well. Y'all like my hair? I just got it done. I'm so excited. But I do have somewhere to be in under 30 minutes. <laughs> So I'm going to show you guys a really quick um, makeup routine that I usually do. Um, it is a no makeup makeup look. So I'm really just going to be doing my lashes, my brows, and a little bit of um, concealer, maybe a little foundation. But um, we're going to start off with our skincare. We want to make sure our skin is moisturized. So the skincare that I like using, do not judge this thing. Do you hear me? Don't judge it. I've had it for so long. Um, it's been in my makeup bags or whatever. I'm gonna show you. It is the um, Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration Skin Protecting from First Aid Beauty. And this is what it looks like. Again, do not judge the container, okay? But this really does a great job because it moisturizes my skin, it gives it back the health that it needs. So I just take a very small amount on my nail, like this much. And. I go ahead and I put that all over my face. So rub it together. And then I just rub it on my face just like this. I know y'all see that difference already. And then I like to lock it in because it is a summertime and we tend to sweat a little bit more than usual. So another thing that I've been loving lately is the Ciate. I hope I'm saying this right. Um watermelon burst setting spray this is really good for locking in that moisture and keeping my face you know good especially before and after i put on makeup i like to put this on and y'all it actually does smell like watermelons it's so good so good to my skin so good to my face and i love it so i'm gonna spray that all over ready mm. Mm. smells like a watermelon um what is that thing called? It's mad hard. It's not a lifesaver, y'all. What is that hard candy? Nah, I gotta look it up. I hate not knowing stuff. Hold on. Watermelon Heart Jolly Rancher. There we go. It smells just like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. Um, tastes, I guess. Yeah. Or if you smelled it, yeah. So I'm featuring two of my favorite things today. Um, these things were sent to me by Influencer. Guys, if you're not an influencer, like I'm gonna do a video telling you the rundown of it. If I already did the video, I'm gonna link it right over. Is it on this side? Over here on the i card. If it's not on, y'all know. I'm gonna link it so you can see it because you need to see this video and you need to join influencer because I've gotten so many products for them for free. But it's a quick video because I have somewhere to be. So, anyways, I have the Morphe Filter Effect uh, Soft Focus Foundation. Um, and it's medium to full coverage. I have it in deep 36. Let me actually just take it out the box because the box is looking crazy. I kept the box. I can show y'all what it looks like, but it looks crazy. So the box doesn't matter at this point. So this is what this one looks like. And like I said, I have it in uh, deep 36. Filter deep 36. And then the thing that's supposed to pair with it, the two things together are supposed to complement one another. So on days you don't want to use a uh, concealer, you can use a foundation, but also they're supposed to be uh, similar to your skin tone. This is the Deep 36 in Warm, and it's also the Filter Effect Soft Radiance uh, Concealer. So that's what the concealer looks like. So they're like twins, you know? Not really twins, they're like besties or whatever you want to call them i really really like these so i'm gonna do on one side of my face i'm gonna use concealer i'm just gonna get all the um craziness or whatever you want to call it on my face please focus on me it's very dark so i'm just trying to bring up the brightness okay there we go so on on one side of my face i'm gonna do the concealer on the other side i'm gonna do the foundation and i'm gonna show you guys that honestly no matter what you're doing, where you're going, you can rock it with either one. And I'm starting off with concealer right now just because I have a lot of blemishes I'm trying to cover and whatnot. So this side of my face, just gonna get mm, all of these little things. 
And again, I'm doing this half of my face, so just anything that's here. Right, boom. We're gonna just blend that in. Nice and well. I know y'all see that. Very subtle, right? Can you tell? Yep, so this is the no makeup makeup look, by the way. So we're gonna go with the basics. Um, now I'm gonna go in and do my eyebrows. Um, because yeah, we got that concealer on. Again, I like to apply concealer first just to get the blemishes. But on the other side of my face, I'm gonna hold off to put on the actual makeup. And since we in a hurry, y'all, we gonna do this faster. So I'm gonna stop talking. I have my color, Revlon Color Stay Eyeliner, and I believe it's just black. Yeah, it's the noir black. So I saw a video that showed me if you do the zigzag effect. It's also a nice way to apply your eyeliner, your eyebrows. Hmm. So I'm going to try that. It's very dark. So we're going to blend that. And then obviously it's mad thick. So um, for the sake of not cheating, as much as I really, really love using this concealer, um, I can't use, you know, this concealer from this side onto my face. So I'm gonna add a neutral one. It's okay, we got this. I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear um, More Than Concealer Concealer. It's a concealer, but um, <laughs> It is in the color honey and obviously because it's in the color honey I'm gonna use less of it because it's a little bit lighter than my skin tone but that's what concealer is supposed to be um, the contour is supposed to be darker concealer is supposed to be lighter about two shades lighter but um I don't know some days this looks much lighter than two shades and other days it's like perfect so I'm gonna use a little <laughs> just so we're not like risking crazy stuff happening so i go under just kind of sweep it and then i go over and also sweep it like that Do y'all see that? Now hopefully I can do the same thing on the other side. Cause it never works out that way, ever. I like to put whatever's left over in the middle so I don't have a unibrow. Y'all, that looked really good. Now I have, now the pressure's on. The pressure's on to get this other brow to look like this one. I could just walk around like this. Hey, how you doing? know how you doing how you doing I said <laughs> ah, okay we're gonna go in Let's say a prayer. okay boom and I have to match it up to this one
Now I'm just gonna do um, eyeshadow. Not eyeshadow. Oop. I'm lying. I'm lying up in here. We're not gonna do eyeshadow because, again, the no makeup makeup look. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and put some foundation on this side. And it's gonna be very minimal, so I wanna just be very careful with how I'm applying it. This much, this much, yep. Ooh, did I cheat? I got some right on the chin, but it's okay. It's okay, I can rub that off. And just, ooh, blend. Yes, ma'am. Again, because it's a no makeup makeup look, it's very minimal and it's medium to full coverage. So in order for it to be full coverage, I would need to add more. So it's fine. I'm just meeting it right in the middle where this concealer ends. Okay, we're gonna put some right here. Okay. Okay, on the no. All right. <sighs> Can you tell? Hopefully not. Okay, so that's it for the foundation stuff. Now we're gonna do a little bit of concealer. Again, we're being neutral, so we're gonna go back to this Honey concealer and I'm just gonna do very minimal right here so I can bring it up. And then just a little right here. Y'all see that? Just a little because I don't want to overwhelm my face and I want to look like I didn't do much. The reason I started using makeup brushes actually was because of my makeup artist actually. Like she just did it so effortlessly and she just let everything kind of like sit in. I used to have so many open pores and now it's like, duh, the brush actually fills in all of them instead of patting it and like highlighting. I don't know, the sponge soaked up most of the makeup anyways. But this sweeps it in and hides the pore and does everything I needed to do. And I'm obsessed with this now. So I'm gonna get this brush. This setting powder is a mixture of the Ciate London um, translucent powder and the, what brand is this? And the Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder. Um, and this loose powder is in medium. So I know I have a lot on this brush still, so I like to pat out majority of it, like in here. And then we go, Boop, 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 boop. All right, I don't know why I'm making those sounds, but yeah. Basically, like, whatever doesn't get patted out gets added to my face. Boom. And then we don't want too much because we're not trying to look like Casper the ghost now. So I'm trying to blend out majority of it. And then we get the brush that we used originally for the concealer slash foundation. And we're using that to just blend everything together. Do mascara instead of actual lashes. As much as your girl loves doing lashes now that she knows how to do it. Yo. It took me years to learn how to do lashes. And not even like crazy stuff, it's basic.
Yo, my edges are disrespectful. I literally just came from the salon like an hour ago, maybe almost two hours. And look at it. Look at these. Now I have to redo them. Look at this. Disrespectful. Like, what are y'all doing? Uh, they so rude. They so rude. But anyways, um, now that that's done, now we're going to do one of my favorite things, which is the highlight. I haven't used this highlight in mad long, but it's perfect for what I'm doing right now. It is the Beauty Crop Glow Milk Nourish with Coconut Oil. It's an illuminated milk for face and body. Yo, I haven't used this on my body. I need to be using this on my body. I think when I go to the spa and I'm taking pictures, I'm going to go ahead and um, use this on my body because I never did it. But I love, love, love it for my highlighter especially in the summertime because it has the nutrients that you need it just kind of glows on my glides on my skin like regular oil We don't want them to be able to tell this. Yo, she did a lot before she came out the house. Mind your business. Mind your business, okay? So this is what it looks like, okay? Does it look like I have on a lot? Does it look that much different? Also, do the different sides, like one side is the side with the concealer, right? And this is the side with the foundation. Is there a big difference? I don't even know if you can tell. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go in and we're just gonna set the face. I'm gonna do my edges and then I'm gonna head out the door. Y'all gonna see me with my edges done on Instagram or I'm gonna insert some videos, but I gotta go out the door right now. I'm running late. So I'm gonna see you guys later. Thank you guys for watching my video. You know, I really appreciate everyone that watches my video, that subscribes to the channel, that shares my content, that sh supports, you know, comments in any way that they can. I really, really appreciate you. You are a true gem. So yeah. I forgot to put something on my lip. Let me just put a little something, something. I really don't want to do this color, but it's the closest thing I have with me right now. So, I'm gonna just do. I'm trying to go for nourished lips, neutral looking lips. I think this is doing it. What do y'all think? It's doing it, right? I think so too. Okay, so thank you guys for watching my video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up, comment below. Let me know your thoughts about this video. And I hope to see you guys on my next video. Be blessed, spread love, and stay beautiful inside and out. Bye guys. That was great. Cut and